Hi, my name is Chris Kudger, founder of ManyCut and your host for DNA of Games. Standing for Disability, Neurodiversity and Accessibility of Games. This podcast series is all about getting to know disabled neurodiverse developers and professionals in the gaming industry. Just to find out how they got into games and how their lives have been shaped by their conditions. When people say, oh, Antonio, you're an expert or whatever, like, I'm not an expert. I just played games for all my life and I know what works for me. But it was, it was first... Yeah. It was frustrating because I was basically treated as though I was I was stupid and I didn't know I didn't know what I was talking about. And most importantly, finding out what they love about gaming. That game, uh, and I have that game on the my Twitter account uh, banner for that reason. I have a poster of that game behind my door because every time that I feel unmotivated or I need a reminder of why I do what I do or why, I look at that game and think that game opened my eyes to the fact that the is I am not the problem. Okay, this is cool because one, it's a girl on the screen. Two, she's badass. Three, she likes archaeology, which is cool in my book. <laughs> um, and I became a little bit obsessed with her. As as a profession and as a career, it is definitely the the highlight because obviously like i said it's inspired my career and look at me now yeah so join us every two weeks as we release a new episode we're getting to know another disabled or neurodiverse developer in the industry and you might just meet someone who is just like you other people that may be neurodiverse themselves will go oh you know dom's all right we're talking about it i feel more okay about talking about it now and it's going to have that like domino effect with more and more people you know the whole reason why this podcast yeah, exists is just to be you know, make the industry more comfortable with talking about disability and neurodiversity, you know, because we have to be more comfortable and then, you know, it doesn't feel abnormal to be an autistic individual and, you know, it's not abnormal to have a disability.